deeper, more intimate relationship with us. If we just, if we don't have a deeper relationship with him, what do we have? We just have a relationship that maybe goes as far as the ceiling, you know? And the Lord wants us to work deeper and wider in our lives. Amen. So we have to search deeper into the scriptures and get to know him more personally on a more intimate level. Come on. Amen. 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 Yes. And, uh, and we can do that through uh, prayer, meditation, fasting, Amen. And, and all sorts of different things. And get in the word and know the yes, word and amen. devour the word. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. All right. Exodus 34, 6. The Lord is compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. He made himself known through his word. There is no greater sacrifice than Jesus' death on the cross and the atonement for sins. Just think about that. How much the Lord God loved us. Our Father in heaven loved us so much that he sent his yes. one and only son to die, to suffer for us and each and every one of you personally. Amen. 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 Well, that's, that's enough to make you shout right yes. there. You think about it right yourself. You know? I, and I do that a lot. I just think about, wow, Lord, if it was just me, if it was just you, he would have done the same thing. If it was just you, he would have done it. Amen. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And then we have, we can go to John 3, 16 next. Amen. Amen. And I think everybody here knows this, but it's Father's Day, so let's read it. Yes, yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. If you believe on the name of the Lord, you will never, ever die. You will be in heaven. You will be in glory. glory. Thank God. Yes, oh, amen. Believe on the Lord here today, folks. I'm telling everyone, if you yes, believe amen. on the Lord. And that's, it's, it's really as simple as that. Believe on the Lord yes. and trust in God, yes. and Amen. He will make your path straight. On, That's yes. all you have to do is believe and trust in God and know Him, have a personal relationship with Him. Yes, right. I mean, because folks, I'm here to tell you today, hell is real. Yeah, I yes. mean, and I know all of you know that, but it's yes. real. Yeah. And Amen. what the Lord wants to do in all of our lives, He wants to have a personal, more intimate relationship with us. Amen. That's why He is our Father. Yes. Your, your father, when you were growing up, I'm sure he wanted to have a personal relationship with you. He tried to pull you along to take you on fishing trips and other things like that. I know I try to make my son tag along with me to places, you know, and he doesn't want to go. Yeah. But what I'm trying to do with him is I'm trying to build a relationship with him. Yes. And that's what the Lord wants to do with us. He wants to build a relationship with yes. us Amen. through his word, through uh, prayer, and through fasting and meditation. Amen. And just having and growing closer to him. Each and every day, even if it's just talking, you know, you can stand uh, even in the shower and just say, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. I love you. Hallelujah. And uh, you can get closer to him anywhere you are. I do it a lot when I'm even at work in my truck, you know, That's right. and I just sit there and I'll pray and I'll think, wow, Lord, thank you for loving me. Yes. You know, your, your mercy endures forever, you know, and, and I can just talk to him and have uh, I can say really whatever is on my mind. And it's and it's a two way. Yes. A relationship. He talks back to me. Yeah. Yes. You know, you feel that little impression in you, and you think, yes. oh, may, maybe that's my imagination, or, or maybe that's not the Lord talking to me. But believe it, because it is. Yes. And, and, and when you do that more and more often, you will know exactly who yes. that who's saying that in your head. You'll say, yes. oh Lord, thank you for that. Amen. Oh, Amen. Lord, thank you for that. Amen. And then w once you start doing that. And he does talk to you. I mean, it just becomes a daily routine. Yeah. Every, every time you get in your truck, before you even shut the door to your car or wherever you're at, you say, thank you, yeah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you. You know, what are we going to do thank today? You. What's oh, Or you can tell him your problems, uh, issues in life, anything. He, you know, he is a way maker. He can do anything. Oh, for yes. You. Yes. You know? Amen. Amen. Well, we we have. have to have faith. Amen. We have to have faith in him and believe and trust in him. Amen. 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 So I'm asking you today, let God open your heart to Scripture because yes. and, and it, it draws us closer to Him. Yes, that's right. And when we draw closer to Him, what does He do? He's closer to he us. He draws us closer to, to us. us. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. And, and it can start something as so simple, just like I said, just talking to Him, getting to know Him. Say, Lord, you can even start as simple as, Lord, I don't know what's going on or what to even say to you. But I heard in David's message today. 
we can have a relationship. And yes. now I want to start here, Lord. We can start yeah, here. That's right. Say that's whatever good. is on your mind. Yes. And he will he will he will talk to you. Amen. Yes, that's Amen. right. Amen. Very soft. Amen. Okay. So, draw near to him, he will draw near to you. Everybody go to Matthew seven. It says, Ask and it will be given Amen. to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. Yes. If you ask the Lord, whatever you ask him, ask him and expect to get an answer. Mm -hmm. Because yes. it says here, ask and you will receive. Yes. Seek Amen. the Lord. If you want to know the Lord more, seek him. Amen. Amen. Yes. Seek him. Yes. Seek him. Because it says if you seek him, what's it say? You'll find, You'll find him. him. Amen. 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 And if you not keep knocking on that door because yes. it's going to open. Yes. Amen. Yes. These are promises, guys. Yes. These are promises that we can stand on. Amen. Amen. Yes. It, it, you know, it just makes, it gets me excited because I know this is truth. This is 100% truth. If anything in this world is truth, yes. it is this Woo! word right yes. here. Amen. This Amen. word is living and sharper than any two-edged sword. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Yes. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Everyone who asks receives. That's good news. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. Everyone who asks receives. And everyone who seeks finds. And everyone yes. who knocks, the door will be open. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. You can know God through love. Go to 1 John 4, 7 through 11. It says, let us love one another. For love is, a, for love is God. And everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. So here it's saying, love one another. Because if you love one another, what do you do? You know God. Amen? Yes. Yes. For love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God. So that's an attribute of God. Yes. Amen? Yes. You have to yes. love one another, and that shows that you have God in your heart. Yes. You're a soft-hearted Christian, Amen. and you, you have God in your heart, and God's in your corner. Amen? Yes. 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 All right. And everybody go to Romans 5.8. Christ loved us while we were still yet sinners. Yeah, it says, but God demonstrated yes. his love toward us and that while we were still yet sinners. Yes, amen. God. The Lord knows exactly what's going on in everybody's life, in every circumstance, in every situation. And yet Christ still loved us. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, that should be, that's good news to that's me. Good news. <laughs> because he picked me up out of that pit. I mean, he, I, I was in a, a bad way, and I'm sure many of you could be as well. But just know, if, if, you're, if you're there, you can call on the name of the Lord, and he will love you while you're still yet a sinner. Amen. Yes. Yes. So on your deepest, darkest day, no matter what the enemy is trying to throw at you, you can still say, the Lord loves me no matter what. Come on. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Go to Romans 8.3. This is good news. Yes, it is. Nothing, not even death, can keep us from his love. Amen. 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 Not even death. Just think, once this life passes over, what do we have after that? Amen. Eternity in paradise. Amen. 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 If you're a blood, -bought, a blood bought citizen of the Most High, we're going to heaven. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Our eternal yeah. reward is in heaven. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you for Jesus. that. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God for that. Yes, oh, amen. Lord. Thank you that you gave. Your only son yes. for us. Glory to God. And that we may call on your name and be saved. Yes. Even on our darkest days, Lord, we yes. just thank you right now for it. Yes, Lord. Yes. Jeremiah 31 3 says, The Lord's the Lord has loved us with an everlasting love. Yes. It's not a love that we can even wrap our heads around. Mm -hmm. It's everlasting. It's it, it's uh it's too much for our finite minds to wrap around his infinite love. Yeah. It's yeah. everlasting. It never stops. It never sleeps. It never slumbers. Wow. Just think of that. While you're sleeping, he's, he's looking at you saying, I love you. Amen. I love you. Amen. I love you. Oh, Amen. 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 Go to uh, John 15, 9, and 9 through 12. Let me get there, too. It says here, as the Father has, has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, yes, and remain in his love. So that, that's another fruit of the Spirit. 
you remain in his love because he first loved you and he loved him back. And when you have a relationship with the Lord, you want to please the Lord, even though uh, nothing you can do can please him. You want to please him by uh, staying in his word and doing what he would want you to do. First Corinthians 13, four says God is love. Yes. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Yes. Praise God. It, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It does not. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. Always hopes. Always perseveres. Love never fails. Amen. 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 That's God's unmerited love for us. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God chose to adopt you because He loved you. Ephesians 1.5 says, God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure for doing that. Yes, Jesus brought us back to the Father. Amen? Amen. Yeah. So while we're still yet sinners, he brought us back. Yes. He knew what was going to happen. He knew what we were all going to do, yeah. but yet... What God do? He loved us so much yes. that we, He grafted us back in. Amen. 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 Yes. Oh, Praise thank God. you, Lord. Well, I want to I want to tell you guys a little bit about my testimony here. Um, I think I I started in my in my Christian life. Uh, my mom brought. I remember my mom bringing me to church for the very first time here. Uh, I said, well, here's what I said to her. I said, well, if it'll get me a ticket into heaven, I'll go to church. <laughs> and uh, my mom said, no, 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 that's not how it works. No. Well, I, I, yeah, I learned that the hard way. And then, you know, I started coming and I started believing and I started learning just like every one of us do, do in our walk with God. You know, I remember walking my son to church. We didn't have a car. We didn't have a vehicle, but I was faithful. And, yeah. and I walked, me and my son Thank walked to Jesus. church. And I would say, oh, Dad, it's hot. It's so hot. I don't want to walk to church. I put him on my shoulders, and we would walk to church not too long ago. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I mean, God has really, really blessed me. And I, I'm going to share a little bit of that here. Mm -hmm. um, I've prayed for a lot of things in my life. And uh, God, I mean, I'm not saying I'm surprised, but he answers my prayers. Amen. He does. I, I, he does. I have prayed for a job. I didn't have a job for the longest time. And uh, I, I would pray, Lord, I need a job. I need a job. And I got that job. I didn't have a way to even get there. But thank God somebody in this church woke up every morning and gave me a ride to my job. Praise God. <laughs> every morning. Praise God. Yeah. Good. You know, and then. After a few years, I got laid off from that job. And then uh, I prayed for another job, obviously, like anybody would do. Um, I got a better job. And I was praying. And while I was at that job, I, was, I would pray and I would ask the Lord all the time because I would be out mowing and things like that. I would literally stand on my mower with my hands held high saying, Lord, what do you want me to do? Lord, what do you want me to do with my life? I mean... Just because I, I I needed to know, I didn't have any real direction on what he wanted me to do, and uh, he answered me in a big way. <laughs> I, and I did that more than one time. I mean, and I would just stand there and I would not even ask him anything. I would just praise him and thank him, thank him for all he's done for me and all he will continue to do for me. I say, Lord, I don't know where I would be without you. Amen. In my heart, I know you're with me, Lord, and I just thank you for all you've done for me. I want to have a deeper and closer and more intimate relationship with yes. you. And that's where it all started, really. I just asked the Lord, and how do I do this? And how do I do that? He will answer you. I mean, you, you learn to know God's voice. And if you don't, say, I just started this, and I'm learning to know your voice, God. So you need to speak to me in a clear way that I can understand Amen. what you're trying to tell me. Amen? Amen. Okay. Um, and, you know, even when I was at that job, I... I was blessed with coworkers that didn't believe, but but they uh, they seen how I lived. I worked there long enough. They seen how I lived, and they knew my faith. 
and uh, they be they began uh, coming and talking to me personally and uh, telling me a little bit about their lives and letting me in on things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would pray for them. And even my boss, you know, let me in on some big things that happened in his life, some traumatic things. And uh, I, I led him and uh, prayed with him a little bit. He still had questions, which is okay, but uh, I slipped that seed in there. Amen. And I got a few sermons from the church here and slipped them in his truck. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Pastor used to type those up for me. Thank yeah. you, Lord. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's on his way. His heart is slowly being softened yes, because I could tell this man had a hard heart toward God. Some things had happened to him that he was not settled with in his heart or, or in his conscience. Thank he didn't know why things happened, and I tried to explain it, but what I did was I planted that seed in his yes. heart, and he got to thinking, you know, Lord, I don't know why this happened in my life, but I know there's a reason, and that's what I told him. There's a reason for everything that happened. So, and uh, okay, I guess we'll go to the next. My next point is uh, the Lord called me to the ministry July 14th, 2019. A lot of you might have been here. I know Martha was here that day. <laughs> I was standing right here. Pastor said, David, I want you to come up here. I have a prophecy to tell you. Uh, well, I'm standing in the same spot now, and it's fulfilled, Pastor. <laughs> it Amen. is fulfilled. He called me to the ministry that day. And uh, I don't know if most of you know what happened to me that day. I don't even know if I really know what happened to me that day. But all I know is I had a, a, a supernatural encounter with the Lord where he just, it felt like oil was coming down my head and on my face. And I just felt so overwhelmed. And it went down my body. It went down my body. And I just felt so overwhelmed. I couldn't even stand any longer. Amen. And uh, and then I just felt this overwhelming sense of love. And I thought to myself, wow, this is something I've never felt. This is supernatural. And I was scared at first. I was scared. It was it, it was too much to handle. I thought I may pass out. And uh, gee, and I knew it. I, for some reason, a, a, uh, I just knew it was Jesus. My mind, my body and my soul knew it was Jesus's love for me. Amen. It, I know it was a feeling, but somehow my body knew, my mind and my soul knew it was Jesus' love for me. Praise God. I mean, there's no denying it. Every, every ounce in my being, it, it was love, love, love. And it wow. was like, it, like I was telling you, it was an everlasting love. It, it was just a love while, we, while I was still yet a sinner. He mm -hmm. loved me. And he loved me that much. And I thought, Lord, what have I done for you? And you love me this much, and uh, this is what I've done for you. And I just thought, man. But he thought, or he told me, he didn't tell me. I got this impression. He loves me no matter what. Yeah. Yes, and he, if I could put it into words, what I felt that day, oh, you, you all would melt to the floor <laughs> like I did that day. And I, I could do nothing but cry because it was just such an overwhelming sense of love. It's not an earthly love. It, it was a... Was, it was a heavenly love. Amen. Thank you for that. It, it was so gracious and so pure and so loving. And no matter what, he loved me that much. And it was overwhelming to me. I had to go after the fact. I had to, I actually ran out of here and just got my car and said, Lord, wow, what was that for? I <laughs> mean, what did I do to deserve that love that you just gave me? And uh, now I know. Yeah. The Lord loves us. Yes, I mean, yes, yes. if I could just get this point across to all of you, he is our father and yes. he loves each and every one of us. As much as I felt that day right yes. here standing on the floor, Hallelujah. if we can only just, Woo, I mean, glory. if the Lord manifested himself today right yes. here, I mean, we would, we yes. would all melt to the floor like yes. that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord, he's faithful to finish the good work that he started yes, in amen. people. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I, I just want to just let you all know, and so we can have a personal relationship with the Lord and a deeper personal relationship that grows from one level to another. Yes. You, you can't outgrow God. Yeah. I mean, it's deep. It's real deep and it's Amen. real wide. Amen. But yet it is so simple that even an infant can understand how much God so loves us and the Amen. love of God. Amen. Amen. Okay. I think Amen. I'm, I'm going to wrap it up right here and pass it over to Julie.
Um, I'd like to give an altar call right now if anybody wants to come up and pray. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't think of it as uh, a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, I repent. I repent all the time. Yes. Paul said I repent daily. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. So if anybody wants to get up here and repent, it, I mean, it's not a bad thing. That's right. You're just, you're just showing that you're submitting yourself to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sister. Praise Thank you. Lord. Anybody else? Praise Steve, you want to play some music? Yes. Amen. All right. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory, Glory to God. Glory to your Thank name. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name.